Welcome to the PTC Hands-On Workshop. Training and preparing through workshops such as these are one of the best ways to ensure that you will be successful as a team in this year's coming competition. PTC is offering this workshop because we believe that the better you understand the product development process, the more successful your experience will be in designing and competing with your robot. Design is one of the most exciting activities you can possibly be engaged in. It transforms your creativity into real things that benefit mankind. Design involves many people and many activities. If it is to be successful, it needs to be managed carefully. Design of complex things, like these aircraft carriers, requires a carefully prepared and managed process. You can imagine what would happen if the design of all the parts of an aircraft carrier wasn't carefully coordinated. The product development process is a set of activities specified in a certain order to accomplish the design of a particular product, sort of like step-by-step -step instructions. The product development process involves tasks that are grouped into four phases. The first phase is concept development and preliminary design. The second phase is the detailed design prototype and test. The third phase is manufacturing, planning, and production, and the fourth and final phase is field support and product retirement. The concept development and preliminary design phase is when your team brainstorms as many solutions to the problem as possible and then selects the one or two concepts that you will pursue in your design process. The detailed design prototype and test phase is where the design work happens. The concepts selected in the previous phase must be designed and tested to make sure they will work. This is an iterative phase where models are created of the design and prototypes are built to ensure that the design will work and meet all of the system requirements. During the manufacturing planning and production phase, you prepare plans for how you will manufacture your design and then procure the materials and build the product. The field support and product retirement phase is the last phase and it is when your robot is on the field of competition. You must plan for what you will need when parts break and how to support your robot. After the competition you will need to consider how you will retire your product in an environmentally sound manner. PTC has developed a set of software tools that help companies manage their product development processes. Windchill, MathCAD, and Creo Elements Pro are software tools used by engineering companies today to help manage their processes. Windchill is a web-based tool that enables companies to manage their products and processes anytime, anywhere. MathCAD is a tool used by engineers to document their calculations and decisions. Creo Elements Pro is a tool used by companies to build digital models of their products and then test them in a virtual environment to see if they will perform as designed. So now let's review. The product development process is made up of four phases. Concept development and preliminary design. Detailed design prototype and test. Manufacturing planning and production. And field support and product retirement. In this workshop, you will learn about each of these phases and how to use software tools to help you achieve a successful product. Now we are ready to do some exercises to help you learn about these phases.